Yeah. So donate to the fucking Patreon. <clears throat> All of you who are patrons to men online, I'm sorry to break it to you, but you're basically gay. You instead put a dollar bill in some guy's bulge. That's literally what you're doing when you are a man giving other men online money. You got you a know, great bulge there today, Brandon. Sent me an article about how to make my bulge look bigger. He's that's, looking out for me. That's, that, that's real bro love. That's loyalty. I went and found the actual Getty uh, uh, photo. He's not even tucking his schlong here. I mean, he's got a you know pretty big package there. This is a joke. Exactly, Alex. A man with a penis, bulging penis. He's even got the sports enhancing testicles and Johnson. Large, flaccid genitals. He's packing an anaconda in his pants. He's got some heavy firepower. Submit to them entirely. I'm Perry. This is Hidden in Plain Sight. And to my right is star of Blaze TV's You Are Here with Les Shaver and Sydney Watson, Mr. Brandon Steele. Whoop -de -whoop -whoop -whoop. Here recording on the day of our Lord, Easter, the resurrection. Um, Shout out to you Romans. <laughs> yes. You and, did it this week, okay? Yeah. Never let them take that away from you. No. You killed that motherfucker. He just happened to come back. You killed our Lord and Savior. You did everything. You, you left it all out on the court, okay? You have nothing to be ashamed about, son. Le Le LeBron came back 3-1, but there's only one group of people ever to yeah. kill... The, the son the of God. king, yes. Yes, the son of, the, the king of kings, yes, in fact, the is king. His, na his name. Yeah. Is. All right. And you um, killed him. And speaking of killing things, I, uh, we, we, we've we preached about honesty on this show, and uh, I gotta be honest, I've been hiding something for, for uh, a period of time. I am a gay man. No, um, <laughs> I, uh... I was trying to think of other apologies that celebrities have done recently. Rothaniel. Yes, but... Um, and that no. was our special, folks. <laughs> so, uh, I talked about how I had uh, stopped drinking at this point. We're, we're talking about like 10 or 11 months ago. But um, what I didn't talk about at the time is the way I did that was I just swapped it over to Benzos. So, I wasn't having like seizures and shit. So I just vet move. I became a uh, little perivert. You're gonna be hearing that a lot in the next couple minutes. But yes, so uh, I just switched to that um, because it was less harmful on my body. Less calories. And, uh, that too. I lost a ton of weight. My face start stopped looking so goddamn fat. Yeah, less cows. I, I could function. I was like, uh, you know, doing stuff uh, other than laying in bed hungover. And that uh, that plan worked great for, for quite a few months. I, I had switched. I was fine. Uh, I was taking a reasonable, like a medical dosage and everything was beautiful. That was until uh, up around the time it would have been. It was shortly before. We uh, moved to Texas, so about about eight months ago at this point, mm -hmm. um, I started abusing the fuck out of them, like mm -hmm. a lot, <laughs> yep. like a, a lot, a lot. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, so um, I guess for those of you who are curious, the, the rough conversion, I, I was taking about uh, 10 bars a day is, is roughly what the equivalent was. But that's uh, beside the point. The point is, since January, and I don't even think I've told you this, uh, since January of this year, I have been tapering off of them. So I am not on them anymore. It took three months of fucking hell. <laughs> it was fucking miserable here for proof. Good old There's my goddamn AA chip for 30 days. Withdrawal rue. Not fun. No. In terms of withdrawal, holy shit, was that bad. That's when the drug messaging kicks in. So uh, for those of you who had sent me messages about why why do you look like you're going to fucking die, it's because I felt like I was going to fucking die. You I, know, as Lil Wayne says, call me once the drugs are gone. Yes. Then I feel like dying. That line did not make sense until I had experienced withdrawal. Then it was like, oh, I get it now. I wanted to send all the pain out. Yes. Zanny, make it go away. Um, 
So I, I, I was, see. I see why the drugs are bad. I was trying to do that, but uh, the reason I had held off on talking about quitting <laughs> is because I had a feeling I'd probably fail somewhere along the way, and I, I didn't really uh, feel like advertising that. So I felt now that I am at the thirty-day mark, I feel okay admitting. I feel like failing to quit's the best thing you can fail. You know, you, you know, it's funny that only on this show would be the big reveal is that I'm not on drugs anymore. Like, hey, folks, <laughs> surprise! <laughs> no other show on a very special yeah. episode. Someone admits they're not high on yeah. illegal drugs twenty four seven. It's like if Tim Dillon opened his podcast, which is I'm not doing coke, folks. Although he's one of the people I feel like would open with, like, yeah, I've been on coke the whole time. And it wouldn't shock me. And it wouldn't shock me. But no, so uh, there it is, 30 days. I, I've been going Where's to Where's our special HBO? I've been going to fucking AA meetings. Yeah, special for coming out as a fag, but yeah, no, nothing not, for... Not for getting off of yeah. fucking drugs that made me want to... F- oh, I can God, write 60 withdrawal. minutes of poor jokes the, to go along with that. The withdrawal, I cannot understate how fucking... There were... Uh, like I said, I, I lost weight. There's there's some ep- episodes, if you want to look, about probably... Uh, let's see here, January, February... Probably end of February, I had gone from... Uh, in, in seven weeks, I had gone from 170 pounds to 140-something. I uh I was losing weight pretty quick and uh I wasn't looking so so hot. Yeah, never being able to eat on withdrawal is one of the worst parts. I was eating like two or three days a week. It uh, was uh it was not good. I was so nauseous going through opiate withdrawal. It uh yeah, it was fucking awful. I've been through alcohol withdrawal. I will tell you this withdrawal significantly worse. I did not think that was possible. I thought it's all right. I, I mean, the episodes of Intervention that are always kind of just like brutal are the fucking benzo ones. Well, l- let me explain it this way. Alcohol withdrawal is fucking, it's, it's hell. But the thing is, for the most part, you're through the, the most extreme, extreme portion. Well, once the poison finally yeah. seeps out of your pores. The most extreme portion of it, you're through in like five days. And then from there, you got about another two weeks, and then realistically, about about a month before your head starts to clear up. This was like those first three days, every day for three straight months, and I just wanted to blow my fucking brains out. The Chinese finally, was, their long term plan paid off. They they fucking we're, we're going to a fucking his life up very bad. This yes. will be a last time. For love time. of God, Zanny, make it go away. This will be a last time a pair of kanky will fuck a whiff in China. <laughs> yeah, make his shitty we gong go, noise. We are going to fuck his raff up very bad. So there you go, folks. That's that's my big reveal is I'm not on drugs. Amber Rose said he um, had to die, but in the most painful way possible. Now, this part, I'm going to ask you, and I, I, I hate to do this because this is our show, not my show or your show. I... I'm going to ask that you allow me to ISO on this next part because it uh, involves some uh, delicate information. On Tuesday of this week, we get a knock at the door. Uh, It is two police officers, and they are asking to see me. Um, I, you... Answered the door initially, correct? Yep, you, you, thought that was a mistake at first. Y- yep. <laughs> yeah, so you you had answered the door. I was in my room. I was just listening to music, and I heard, I think I think I just heard my name, so I came out. And then, yeah, I saw that. I was like, uh, what the fuck did I do? Um, And they were doing a, Oh shit! How much of this can I say? They were doing a wellness check, basically. Mm-hmm. What what happened was someone had heard something I said in an episode of our show, and uh, decided to call the police <laughs> and say that I was uh, overdosing. <laughs> 
Now, for those of you unaware, <laughs> these shows are not live. They, they, in fact, by the time you're hearing this, we are several like we're we're forty hours removed. Yeah. From when this happened, so unless the drugs were very long lasting, well, you came back. I probably the... was still alive. It's fitting for Easter. I yeah. came back from the dead. If you come back for another episode, you're probably not dead. So I had talked to the cops. I had to do now. Thankfully. You know, the one thing, uh, having, uh, I, I've done the suicide hotline thing. I worked at a, a mental institute as a pharmacist. So I, I know what the questions are and what the answers need to be. So I just rattled that list off fast as a motherfucker. And I think the cop knew that uh, I'm good. Um, and I, I even did the show on my wrist, show my neck thing. There, there, there's a few things you can do uh, where they'll they'll leave you the fuck alone. But the white cop I talked to knew the blaze. That is, oh really? That yeah. so that's the one part I wanted you to chime in because they isolated you. Yeah. They all, if you, if there's two people, they always isolate. The white so dude. what what did he ask you about? Uh, nothing really. I just started laughing at your answers, and that made him laugh. And he's like, "Where do you work?" And I'm like. I, Oh, at the blaze, and he didn't know my show. But the funny thing is, he goes, he knows. No, I know that 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 one uh, that one group they make good content. And I was like, uh, rat off you, and the mention is like, Turning Point. You're like, yeah, Turning Point <laughs> USA. I was like, yeah, no, I actually. I was like, oh, don't let this motherfucker in the door. He'll send us to jail for everything in here. Yeah, well, that was my biggest uh, concern. I mean, he didn't really give a shit, to be honest. No, 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 and uh, I. Which is what, how I like my police. I talk care less, fellas. The, the cop I talked to, I just talked to about Benny the Butcher for and No Man's Sky for a few minutes. So, yeah. um, no harm, no foul. Uh, now, listeners in the future, uh. Never, ever, ever send the police to our house again, or I will fucking have you killed. That is, yeah. that's a joke. Yeah. That's a joke. Yeah, we we don't have that. We're too no, soft. That is a joke. Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. But I, I can't, I, the issue is because this person called from a different state. So now <laughs> I'm, I'm dealing with Dallas PD, but I also have to talk to the police in the other state as well. We're, so we're, I'm not saying everything because it, it's... We've got wellness checks in multiple states. So I wanted... I wanted it, I had literally been planning this uh, episode since January. I want this to be like my triumphant... Like, hey, <laughs> I'm sober. Here's my fucking sobriety chip. I've been going to recovery. Everything's good. And then fucking Tuesday, the cops... Bang, 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 uh, you're overdosing. Like, uh, first of all... Uh, I don't think that's how overdosing works. Uh, first, first of all, all, yes, I don't think I can be sober overdosing. I don't... Well, I don't it, think I can be alive in overdosing. Yes. Usually well, that involves death. The funny... I, I was literally maybe an hour out of being in an AA meeting. Like, I literally... <laughs> I just told the cop, I was like, here's my fucking sponsor's number. Call him. I was just with him. So unless I've consumed all these drugs and you've received this phone call in the last, like, 40 minutes, I'm going to be good. So, uh... Did I let you turn the chips into chains? I'm going to, but, uh... That'd they, be pretty cool. Actually, I'm not even supposed to talk about Ugh. Alcoholics Anonymous. There's a very specific rule that I'm not supposed to bring it up in media, but... It's like um, Fight Club. I would like to tell them, suck my dick. I'm... This is... This is my life. You don't yeah. get to, uh, run my life. They need free advertising. Uh, they actually explicitly say, do not advertise the group. At least <laughs> half is... the people watching this are going to be alcoholics at some point in their life. 90% of our audience are yeah, either in recovery or in active addiction. Let's so, be real. Yeah. If they wanted to get to people, this is these are the shows they would be sponsoring. They'd be running fucking ads on Legion of Skanks. Yeah, so there you go. I was uh, zanying the pain out. Zanny make it go away. And uh, technically, you were a uh, Zanny the panel. <laughs> Zanny of the as a Chinese chemicals is <laughs> a kill Z everyone Z in this country. Zanny cool chicken. <laughs> Maybe I, the Chinese literally just had a meeting at one point that America is all addicted to so many drugs. What if we? <laughs> what if what we, if just we make kept killing them? What if we make them strong enough to the point where they kill themselves? And they were like, perfect. 
Here's fentanyl and 18 other fucking analogs that are 20 times stronger than the regular shit. So that was uh, that was my week. I, I really didn't want to talk about it for that long, but that, that was it. I, I just wanted to say I'm, I'm, I'm sober. I'm doing well. Everything's good. No no need to worry. No need yeah. to uh, call the police. Weird the day for me to have who, the time uh, off. The, the person who, who called the police, you are forgiven. Do, do not worry. Everything everything is well. You were well-intentioned. I understand. It's okay. Yeah, weird we day. We all f- make mistakes. Weird day for me to be home. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I know. That was the, the, the... I am beyond glad you were here. <laughs> because uh, that sober, or, like, sober and alone and two cops banging on the door... I would not have handled that well. I was just like, thank God I didn't smoke weed yet. Yeah, that, that's all I could think it was about. like, thank you, Jesus, was, for keeping me from doing that for another 45 minutes. Well, uh, you also noticed how quickly both of us stepped out of the apartment and closed the door. Oh, I literally, yeah. yeah that was I, not a coincidence. Oh, I, yeah, was I like, was immediately yeah. like, we're taking this outside, Yeah, fellas. no, no. That, uh, it's a beautiful day yeah. today, isn't it, uh, yeah. officer? It's a beautiful yeah. day to be no, outside. Yeah. Separate me 10 feet this outside. way. Outside, unless you have a yeah. warrant, it is a beautiful day to be outside. Sep- separate me 10 feet this way, down, that's not downwind. Yeah, Jesus you know? fucking Christ. I kn- so, uh, other than almost going to jail for probably uh, 20 years and uh, my sobriety, uh, how's your week been? <laughs> and that, that was my week, really. Yeah, yeah. For the most you part, you were here for that. That was that was interesting. Uh, there. Uh, should I open up some of these links? Should we just yeah, uh, you jump can bring up some that? of the videos. We can go to someone's week who wasn't great. Uh, just let's, an order let's, here. Let's talk about this shooter here, Mister uh, Frank James. Is that the top link? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Frank James is the man. Uh, who is the subway shooter in Brooklyn? Uh. It appears, from my tangential research, that he may be another black Hebrew Israelite affiliate. And this is just... Now, they scrubbed most of his web presence. You want to play this video really quick? It's yeah. only 50 seconds. Yeah, but a few a few of the... Uh, oh, shit. But a Did few, we lose video? No, it's like... I'm, but a few, I might have stepped on the cable. That could be my A few good fault. Samaritans were able to capture oh. some of his videos. And these are just snippets, but... You'll recognize the hate. We don't give a fuck. Oh, Brother Bobby. Could care less. <laughs> and that's rap why the news. we should be exterminated. That's why we should be off this fucking planet. Because we don't give a fuck that the fact that we're doing damage. He thinks everyone should because be exterminated. We, we have no sense of it. And don't want to know shit. Which means you're going to be exterminated. Pray. Pray till your fucking face falls off. <laughs> Do you not think the Jews <laughs> would oust with didn't pray. That's a good point. Yeah. You think the Jews that at Birkenbach didn't pray and pray and pray? Did their God come and save? No, they God. And these are these are people. Birkenbach <laughs> sounds like a dance they used to do in the fifties. Oh, it was before they got you destroyed. <laughs> your prayer is not gonna do shit for you. Your prayer is not gonna do shit for you. You sent to your American Auschwitz to be fucking exterminated. <laughs> you, so they're pretty much all like that. You know what's funny to me is when, like, a man who's uh, nihilistic and wants to kill everyone still decides that he needs to try and dress flyly. Oh, I love it. He's great. He'd been in a psych ward. Like, he was uh, was a genuine lunatic. But, like, in one of the videos, he gets mad that, like, uh, black dudes fuck white women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, that, that's a, okay. and vice versa. He, he, I'm, uh, I'm officially that. That's a black Hebrew Israelite. He's thing. pretty much there. Okay, but he does oh, just. Okay. He does share raps, just genuine disgust at everyone, mm-hmm. which I appreciate. There's not enough people who just hate, regardless of race or gender. I will say, not the typical look of a shooter. I don't mean the fact that he's uh, black, not white. He doesn't. That's have... part of it. He kind of just looks like the uncle at a cookout. Like he doesn't look like a mass murderer. He I mean, looks I'm like sure a he was some chill guy. He was someone's uncle. Yeah, and then he killed a bunch of people. Now I don't think he actually has ended up killing that many people. In which case, he's a pussy. Surprisingly low for a dude shooting. I feel like if I was shooting in a New York subway, yeah, after setting off like a gas bomb, I would. Put up some numbers, you know. We, I mean, he got a, he hit a lot of people. He hit like thirty, but I, I don't think any really died. I talked about this with uh, Cody 
uh, the other day, twitch.com slash Cody Civilians. Um, the, the average, the batting average of people doing subway attacks and killing a lot of people is really fucking low. Outside of the, the London bombings, no one has really been successful because you got Om Shinrikyo that tried to release the, the sarin gas attacks. Uh, they didn't do shit. I know there's been multiple shootings where they just shot like half a person. And then there's been this guy who I, I think, I don't even think he killed six. Was six the no? Six I don't, was last week. I don't know if he's killed anyone. I think he just hit a lot of people. I mean, I feel like probably one is going to have to like like. There's no way he doesn't kill anyone. All right, mass shooters. You, you gotta practice your shooting. Yeah, this dude did not go to the range beforehand. Let me put it that way. I know you guys think that because you play Call of Duty that shooting is really fucking easy, but but it. it you got to practice a little. You got you to get up some jumpers. You don't want to embarrass yourself. Like, you're going to look foolish. We'll close with that. Oh, That's good stuff. I don't know what this video, if it involves a bone breaking, I won't watch it. No, it's not. Oh, okay, good. It's go, the go. trailer for Tucker's new thing. Oh, excellent. Uh, but, yeah, this dude, this dude, I mean, he was cool. His videos were rad. But, yeah, the numbers are disappointing because I feel like. You mean his uh, his killing numbers? Yeah. I they always are. I, they, and no one ever manages to put up the well, numbers. But he hit thirty people. How many tabs of Diablo do you have open on this fucking laptop? I gotta have all my nerds tell me what to do. That's true. I'm trying to get back into the the swing of things. And you know what I gotta do? <laughs> I t- genuinely thought he was saying shorty. No, 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 no. You know how I knew? Uh, actually, ironically, going back uh, briefly to me, one of the times uh, where I knew I needed to stop drinking is I was laying in bed listening to that song on repeat and being <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, Zanny, take the pain away. This has gone too far. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's I was like, okay, I, need, I, I, I gotta get sober. What am, what am I you listening to? I'm listening oh, to Little Jesus Uzi Christ. Vert on repeat. I need help. I need to get clean. Hi, uh, my name is Perry Kempke, and I listened to Lil Uzi Vert last night. <laughs> I, I listened to Lil Uzi Vert on repeat. That's when I knew I needed help. That was my bottom. Was they it? all just stand up. Just, yeah. You're so brave, man. We've all been there. Zanny, all the pain out. Yeah, the dude who just told a story about getting raped in prison, like, damn, man, you had it hard. Yeah. Lil Uzi Vert, that's the a, that's a low bottom to hit. <laughs> 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 Not as low as I, Isaiah Rashad. Uh, hey, Isaiah, uh, before we continue on with this, Isaiah Rashad kind of addressed uh, him uh, getting caught being gay at uh, Coachella this week, like the intro. Uh, he was performing at Coachella this week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. His intro. That been, to be honest, that would have been a time to double down. He kind of did. His intro was nothing but clips of all It the, was him getting his dick sucked by a dude. <laughs> It on was, stage. It was just clips of all, like, the podcasts and other rappers talking about it. And then he, he basically just told everyone, go fuck themselves, and they came out and performed. Like, so yeah, it was basically like, hey, fuck you, I don't care. I mean, I guess that's one way to play it. Yeah. I feel like if I get caught doing that, like, you might as well, in this era, might as well just fucking get your, get your points out of it. There's already... Oh, I would have. There's already video. They're already calling you gay. You might as well get, like, some... Gay privilege and shit. I would have got like a gap deal or yeah, yeah, give me a clothing deal. Give me something. I'm sure there's a gay like black magazine that needs a cover cover <laughs> artist or some shit. Yes, Gape Weekly. Yeah, there you go. But it's Black Gape Weekly. Yeah, Black Gape. He can be the new face of black.com. <laughs> did you know? I don't want to see what, what's did on you know, that face. Did you know in 2021 the most researched or the most searched... uh or no, not most searched. The most used category of porn in the America was ebony. Really? Yeah. I like that they don't call it black, that they call it ebony. I. So where's, who's the racist country now? We're only jerking it, or does that just reflect that more black people have no, computers? No, 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 no. The question, here's the real question. Was the man black or just the chick? 
No, no, no statistics on that. Because I, I cannot. If the guy is black, I cannot jerk off to it. This is Pornhub. That's true. It's that's my my own it's off racism. I have to deal well, with. Well, it's also hard to get into it. Right. Uh, it, it, it's fucking immersion breaking. Yeah. I, I don't have a black dick. These statistics yet. are yes, yet are from uh, Pornhub's 2021 year in review statistics. Do you have those compiled. full statistics? Uh, I mean, I can okay. bring up the chart. Please bring it up. No, I, I, I wanted to do this in an episode uh, sometime last year, and we were never able to like really find the chart to actually do it. So I would I would love to just go through uh, the Pornhub's like, year in review. I fucking love it. We did it, this for... I I absolutely love the stats they have. But yeah, black or uh sorry, ebony is is not what I would have anticipated. Usually it goes to teen or cream pie is uh the the typical winner of uh the the category of the year. But um, you know, I I guess fat asses are in and uh who who's got a fatter ass than our 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 sisters? But uh, the fact that hentai was that high up on that list makes oh, hentai, me very uncomfortable. Uh, you no, know what? Hentai is hentai is the most searched. You know what? Subject. I think, I think this is the same list we did before, because so, I remember having that exact same conversation. So it's from the same statistics. It's a different list. I'll okay, find it. Okay. I'll fucking find it later. But uh, it's from the same batch of statistics. But this one broke it down by. Most used category and most searched term. Uh-huh. The bigger thing was Americans search for porn 68 million times per month. Hell yeah, brother. The next country was like England at like 16 million. Basically, our number you was... You get those jerker numbers up. Our number was the same as like the next 15 countries. <laughs> you know, the only it's country... It's like our military budget where yeah. it's like it's uh, our jerk off numbers are as big as yeah. the next 50 countries combined. The rest of the world. Yeah. yeah. This, what was funny is the only no one country jerks it like us. <laughs> no, folks, this is America. Okay, we need to be number one in jerking off. Okay, tremendous jerking off talent in this country. No I prostate mean, cancer here. You've seen the porn stars. I fuck them I in. You can watch them on your TV right now, right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, so the most searched term was was hentai. But a Japan, only it's country disgusting. to have a drop in searches, down negative thirty three percent. That country is not even jerking off. They can't. What the can't, fuck is they, going on in Japan? I they couldn't jerk off too if I had to jerk off to a bunch of fucking eight bit video games. You would be, nah. You underestimate the horniness of men. But like apparently they, not. They won't fuck and they won't jerk off. No they, wonder that country is so depressed. They gave them fucking shitty porn. Someone needs to do. Do you think they were like if if we give you a pussy back? Will you fuck the women? No, here's... I guarantee what they thought would happen is if they're like, look, if we give them shitty porn, they will actually go fuck. But what it turned out is that everyone just fucking gave up. Yeah. Everyone just went, you know what, fuck? I don't, I don't give a shit anymore. You gotta give men their outlet. Yeah. Okay? Or else you end up with subway shooters. Well... I guarantee that guy did not jerk off before he did that. Uh, how could he? He's disgusted by the human race. Right. So what do you jerk off to at that point? Now, it would be funny if he just low-key was in the white woman. Of course he was. They oh, all are. They all are. It's, it's the same way every KKK leader gets caught with like Although eight terabytes of fucking black.com. You saw the fucking OnlyFans model. That white bitch who like said she only dates rich black dudes murdered her black boyfriend while they were fucking. Well, wow, that's... Just stabbed him. That's uh, a bit much. And the family's like, this woman should be in jail. Like, she's definitely killed them. Is she trying to say it them. was like a sadism act? Like no, I think she's a... now saying it's try, was trying to say it was self-defense. It's a bit hard to say self-defense. Wow, you're having sex. It's, it's going to be a rough one to, to throw in trial, I think. Like, if he was raping you and you stabbed him is one thing, but to be having what appears as consensual sex and then you pull a knife out and stab someone. Yeah. Seems like because because if if it was rape, why would you just be holding a knife? I just thought, <laughs> but why, I, why would you just have a knife on you? My only thought was how unfortunate or how fortunate for her she didn't stream this sex. There's only one way they can fix it. But yeah, what what fortunate luck for that to be the one time she's fucking and not recording it. Yes. 
you know, the the Lord works in mysterious yeah. ways. Speaking of the word Lord working, and I, I brought this up because... We, Is that Tyler the creator? No, that's the baby with the wig on. Oh, okay. But we appreciated Shane Gillis's tweet the other day. Oh, yes, we did. Yes, after the uh, baby shot another person basically, and and good old Shane tweeted out, "The baby out here shooting people and getting away with it. Who does he think he is, Kyle Rittenhouse?" Which was a very strong tweet. Very I read that, strong tweet. I read that and I was like, you know what? Norm is up in heaven yeah, smiling yeah, yeah, at no, that I, one. It, it, I was like, good. that's a Norm joke. Like, that's a vintage Norm joke. That was one of those jokes where I read it and I didn't even laugh. I was just like, ah, shit, that's yeah, good. Like, Fuck. That's, Fuck. I, I should have thought of that. that. That's fucking good. Yeah. But, uh, so then I saw this from the baby who had a message for his intruder that he shot. Uh, I chose to not take a boop life the other day and it felt great. Thumbs up. <laughs> but he ain't deserved to go. I step righteously. Heal up and live, my boy. Just don't bring your ass back. <laughs> Which I was like, you know what? Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. The baby has so been just be like, on hey, an ass whooping streak recently. Yeah, I fucking shot this bitch, but I decided not to kill him. But I pray for his recovery. To be like, I'm the one. Yeah, like I did everything perfect. Yeah. Like, yeah, I shot him. But look, I didn't kill him. I let him leave. Heal up. Don't fucking do that again. And we can keep it moving. Did like, you, that is kind of some G shit to do. You saw the fight he had in the bowling alley? Yes. 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 One of the funniest fights ever to watch oh. a bunch of grown men slip around they're in just, a bowling yeah, alley. Yeah, they're just falling it was all hilarious. over the place. Yes. Yeah. No, one, no one could throw a punch because no one could plant their feet because the ground is covered in yeah, oil. Literally like, coated. Yeah. They're basically mud wrestling. There was one guy who figured it out and decided he planted his feet in the gutters. I was like, that's the guy. That's that's the guy. That's why you hire professional security. I would have kicked. He figures it out in the moment. I'd have kicked the motherfucker with them hard ass shoes on. <laughs> the bullet shoes. Those shoes would have hurt so much to kick someone with. But yeah, the baby has uh, really shot a bunch of people. Look, yeah. look. Those fucking, the, the queers started talking shit to him. And he started busting back. And he said, bitch, I will shoot you. And yeah. to prove it, he's been shooting people. And getting away with it. And getting away with it. And good. Good. And you know what? Though, hey, if we want to be serious for a minute, Pop Smoke got caught without it. Look See? what happened to him. Look, man, this is America. You have the right to buy an illegal firearm. Carry that thing around despite whatever probation you may be on. And shoot someone if they come for you. As West Side Gun said, if I get caught with it, might be gone for three summers. If I get caught without it, might not live to speak about it. Amen. Yes. Amen. But yeah, how, how many and more? And also. I wish, I, I so wish during my point when I was taking that many pills that I, I just started getting like face tats and listening to nothing but Lil Peep and like. If they Uzi. didn't cost so much, you probably would have. Yeah, that's true. If tattoos were free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might have done it. I'm sure you would have done it. I'll get a little tattoo. L I'll little get a little perivert. <laughs> I'll get a little little teardrop. Why yeah. not? Why not? Oh, but the pain. But only because I'm sad. Oh, the pain. <laughs> yes, it hurts. It hurts. That's yes. why this teardrop represents yeah. the hurt I felt getting a tattoo oh, done. Oh, God, it hurts so much. No one told me this. <laughs> why did no one tell me getting stabbed with a needle hurts? How many, how many more people do you think the baby will shoot? Um, I would hope at some point his management company would just give him enough fucking security so he doesn't have to be the trigger man. When you're the number one dude on your fucking uh, roster at your, your label, you should not be the trigger man. Do you think mean, like back in the day, Michael Jackson should not be the guy fighting off his intruders. You, you hire protection... For the breadwinner. Do, do you think he just likes it? Par partially, yes. Because cause he seems to like being the one doing the shooting. I mean, I don't think you carry a gun unless you're kind of, you know, looking for maybe a this shooting. This has always been my, the reason I should never own a gun. It's because I want to, I would want to shoot somebody. And he has he has zero compunction in pulling that bitch out and squeezing the trigger. No, at He's least... done it in a Walmart. He has done it in his house. He will use it wherever, whenever. Yeah. I think he almost pulled it at that video shoot. It, he, he will punch a motherfucker in the face and he'll pull the trigger. He's a real one. Yeah. He's a real one. But it does seem like he's got pretty good aim. 
if Excellent. He purp- if he purposefully shot, like, shot the dude, like, in, I don't know, the, like, the leg or some shit. Again, practice with your weapon. Yeah. If if the the f- subway shooter had had as good to aim as the baby, we'd be talking about a, a horrific, even more horrific tragedy. I do always feel like people think of, like, is, like if you're not a gun person, you think of, like, shooting and you're like well you're just gonna kill everybody you shoot at it's like no actually no. you have to have pretty good aim to kill yeah no it's it's not... usually bad aim where you just kind of like hit someone in the shoulder again everyone who hasn't shot go to a shooting range shoot a pistol take the gun go to a minority <laughs> shoot them and then you'll get an understanding of how it feels and then call a welfare check on us yeah and then you know what? <laughs> and then and then tell someone that i'm overdosing officer officer look i'd be doing much better if i knew that they had killed someone can you check for me is anybody wanted in this county yeah for for murdering someone yes but that's why i realized i should never own a gun because i have no compunction about shooting People. And I, I should not be able to end a life with the click of a button. Yes, luckily, I can't own a gun because I easy. can't get my fucking Texas driver's license still. It's just too easy to do. It, uh, It is pretty wild that you can't just own something that will end a life with the... the uh, well, ooh. I mean, I get that like normal like, people don't want to shoot people yeah. and probably won't. Yeah. So I, I think it's fine for the vast majority... I think it's just I know that, like, I would shoot someone really without much thought. Bringing it full circle, it's like addiction. When when you talk about addiction with someone who's never been addicted to something, it sounds absolutely insane to them because, uh, let's face it, it it's, is fucking insane. But yeah. for the people who get it, mm-hmm. it makes perfect sense. Yeah, it's hard it's hard to explain it it's to hard someone to, who doesn't have that wiring in their head. Well, it's hard to properly explain withdrawal. Yeah. You can't... Because uh, that's really... This is why I always say the messaging for drugs is backwards. Drugs are fun. Let's get it... Let's let's be honest about it. They're very fun. They yeah, rule. Yeah, I, I felt great yeah. until I uh, tried to stop using yeah, it. Yeah, they fucking rule. What sucks is when they run out. Yeah, then you very go this, bad. You go through this thing called withdrawal. And uh, withdrawal is hell on earth. That's all you want is you want to Zanny the pain out and yes. Zanny to make it go away. Oh, ironically enough, Xanax is great for withdrawal if you're withdrawing from another substance. However, yeah, anything that a you get any, addicted to that too. Yeah, so, well, yeah, you, know, you know, whatever. Yeah, pick your battles. Pick your battles. Look, sobriety kills as well. We all die. Yeah. You and let's see, this one was fun. So this dude landed in the ICU with a lung injury after aggressively masturbating. How did that uh, hurt his? Did he have like COVID? Did he 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 winded himself? Uh, no. So he experienced a shortness of breath and a crunching of pain. I think he was like. Fucking going for it. He was a aggr- I mean, if you aggr- describe someone as aggressively masturbating, as opposed Ag- to as opposed to just normal masturbation, right? Because aggressive Bill, does imply you're think, putting some extra. Oomph yeah, behind I it. think Bill Burr actually has a bit about this, but like, yeah, if you feel the need to put an adjective, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, he was really going in. Yeah, I'm assuming he was probably. Yeah, he just kind of. Well, it's so he got he was diagnosed with spontaneous pneumomodiastinum, uh, SPM, a rare and benign disease that occurs when air leaks from the lungs pneum- and becomes lodged in the rib cage. So I think he was wow, literally so just he like punctured alveoli and got air into. He must have just been flexing as hard as possible. Wow, that's yeah. a man who's committed. That. Is commitment. I didn't I, smoke, didn't use drugs. Completely sober doing this. What a fucking idiot. Listen, yeah. if you're gonna beat yourself off until you gotta go to the hospital, you better be high on drugs. Now apparently, I'm taking away his card. That's, that's not true. okay. You better be high as fuck that's when true. you jerk off long enough to go to the hospital. Back in the day, or vigorously enough. Yes. Back in the day, they did put you in asylums for jerking off too much. Yeah, hysteria. Yeah, that's you, why the vibrator was invented yeah. was to to prevent hysteria in women. If you touched yourself too much, they were like, "Boy, you got you something wrong with you," and they just sent you to like some psych ward where they would beat you until you stopped beating off. I would have just been like, "Hey, have you tried it? 
It, it's pretty good. I don't I don't yeah. know why I'm the one being locked up. You're you guys cr- are missing out. You're the lunatics. Like, yeah, fine. You're, you're crazy for not doing this. Deliver my Playboys here. Yeah. We'll be good. I can come as much as I want. Yeah. Now, apparently, you can get this also from fucking, but that's also extremely rare. Uh, but, uh, can you imagine having to go to the doctor and be like, hey, doc. I was beating off too hard. I think I hurt my lung. Like, well, what were you doing? <laughs> Definitely <sighs> not jerk it off. This is confidentiality, right, doc? You're not going to leak this to Complex oh, Magazine? Oh, no, no, I lie. I lie in this situation no matter what. But you would have to know a very specific bruise to make sure they got to the right thing. That's true, but I'm lying. Because you'd have to be like, I don't know, I was doing like, oh, I did too many crunches. Like, I was just doing sit-ups. Because I know, listen, the, the doctor is not supposed to tell anyone about what happened. Shit like this happens, the doctor is telling everyone on that floor about it. It's on complex.com. It's, I think it got we out. We are reading about it yeah. on our show. Word got out. Yes. Word got out. Now imagine funny? being that guy and knowing oh. that that you're Ooh. you're the vigorous masturbator. Yeah, you're the dude who the masturbated. The worst superhero. Yeah, you've masturbated a punctured lung. But yeah, when I the one time I went to the, the doctor in Utah after my... Vigorous masturbation? No, two-day binge... Uh-huh. Uh, for the Chris Calico concert and whatever the EDM oh, was after uh, ecstasy bitch. Yeah, I was. Oh, and Viking and and we. I bought. I brought everything back with me. Uh, I was so fucked up on one of the the like the Monday after I woke woke up, and that was when I fucked up my foot and I like ripped the seam oh, in between my yeah, pinky yeah. toe, and had to like go get stitches, and the doctor was like, "How'd you do this?" And I was like, "Doc, I literally have no idea." Definitely like, I, not high as shit. Yeah, I'll definitely. Tell you that. I was like, definitely not. Still so fucked up. I couldn't feel my legs. <laughs> yes, that definitely was definitely not so high that I completely yeah, missed the pain of this. That I couldn't walk. Uh, but let's just. I was literally just like, I don't know, because I didn't. I still don't know what angle I would have had to have gotten my toe. Listen, shit happens. But yeah, I I just went. He's like, how do you how you, you just stepped in it? Are you sure? And I was like. You think I fucking cut the, the inseam of my toe to get painkillers, Doc? It reminds me of the... Uh, the I did not get painkillers, by the way, the which s- really fucking irritated the me. The scene, the original jackass, where uh, he shoves the car up his ass. Oh, yeah. Yes, and the doctor is just like, we. you must never tell anyone about this. <laughs> like, even the doctor was like, you never speak of this again. This this stays this, with the, us. Yes, this will, this will die here. Oh, I mean, I could imagine the doctor being like, I don't want to be... I don't want to be the doctor who's known for pulling the car out of your asshole. I'd actually kind of like that. I mean, yeah, some doctors. I'd like to be that kind of doctor. I'll be honest. Some doctors would have like a picture of them with yeah. fucking the crew being like, yeah, this is the time I, I no, pulled the car I, out I'd of his be, ass. I'd be Doc Hot Wheels. Fuck yeah. You'd be I'd like, put I'm racing a, stripes on my goddamn uh, uniform. I'm I, a specialist, actually. Yeah. I'm the world's number one. A uh, doctor at pulling cars hot out of wheels out of assholes. Yeah, hot wheels out of assholes. Yeah, okay? I, all the all the celebrities. I had a patient once. He got the full loop stuck in there. Yeah, the full loop track with the booze. It was impressive, honestly. Yeah. But yeah, all the celebrities, whenever they shove a car up their asshole, they come to me. They come to me I'm first. Doctor nine zero two one zero of yeah. hot wheels and assholes. They come to me and say, Doc, I got this vintage Mercedes shoved up my asshole. Can yeah. you get it out without breaking any of the parts? And I say. I got you. It's uh, it, Can you please scroll up or down to your screen so I can stop seeing that Jack Daniels commercial before I relapse? Um, Thank you. Uh, it, it, I, I don't remember where I was going. I just kept seeing a cool, refreshing glass of Jack Daniels and, <laughs> and uh, forgetting what I was meaning to say. Uh, but, oh, right, cars and assholes. Um, <laughs> cars and assholes, yeah, folks. Yeah, that, that's the new name of the show. Welcome to this. That's going to be, what's the... The other stupid car show. Car talk from back in the day? No, no, no. The one that people still watch. Oh, uh, the, 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 the one, one where, where they, they kick them it? off. Oh, no. no, I thought you were talking about. Yeah, the uh, one where they auction them. Oh, that's the Meekum car auctions. Yeah. No, the one the Bishop watches. 
There's two of them. I can't think of the Whatever. other day. There's, we'll get on that channel. Yeah. That'll be our show. Cars and assholes. Yeah, I thought it's cars and the assholes who drive them. I thought you were talking about there used to be a radio show called Car Talk with the Click It and Clack It brothers, and boy, did they think everything they said was really fucking funny, and boy, did I want to strangle them. And they're thank def- God. Jesus decided to do it for me and killed them before I could because they were the least funny fuckers of all time, but they would laugh and laugh. Oh, would they laugh at their jokes? In their defense, they were probably alcoholics. Or maybe it was Tip and Tap the Clackett Brothers, something like that. Either way, I'm glad they're dead. I mean, with the name like. I hope they burn it. (laughs) With the name like no. the Clackett Brothers, like you're gonna die early. <laughs> yeah, no, no. That's There's... not the name of someone who makes it very long. No, oh, I, I mean it was, it was hacky like 1930s radio, except they were doing it in the 2000s. I mean that could be funny if you weren't like bad at if it. If you weren't terrible, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. It turns out a lot of NPR's audience. I know this is gonna shock you. Not very funny people. A lot of the people no, who listen to NPR. No. Yeah, no. I got to tell you, I wait, wait, don't tell me. Doesn't tickle my funny bone. <laughs> not, not even a little. Although I've, they will. I've heard all their fucking comedy shows. I was about to say, they do Nothing. occasionally have them. Yeah. Oh, They're, no, on Saturdays they have. They got wait, wait, don't tell me. They got uh, the... The, there's one game show one that I'm forgetting the what, name of. What, what goes wrong in your comedy career? No. That you get a special on NPR. It's funny. I I know they do, but like obviously your career has gone as, awry as but, a comedian. If you're like, yeah, dude, I'm doing 60 minutes on NPR this weekend. But the thing is, like, crowds gonna be lit. The problem is, people think, and this is what we're here to do is to balance it out. People think clever humor is is the the pinnacle of humor. I don't give a fuck. Anyone can be clever. If you yeah. give me a fucking pen, I can go write a bunch of highbrow hard. shit. You yeah. know what's hard? Kicking a man in the testicles. Yeah. And you know what's going to make me laugh 100% of the time? A man getting kicked in the testicles. It you is. You know what doesn't make me laugh? Fucking NPR. It's like a fundamental fl- uh, like one rule of physics. A man getting yes. kicked in the testicles. It's funny 100% of the time. I had to explain this to Sydney once. I was like, no, you don't understand. It's literally funny every time. It, it will always yeah. be funny. I was like, look, it it's not funny when it happens to you. It's no, very no, painful. It's, it's awful. But if it's not Seeing happening to you, man, yes. always funny. It's like yawning when and like you have to yawn. Like yeah, you yeah, see yeah. someone get hit in the nuts, you're going to laugh. We watched the Lily get hit straight in the dick once. Hardest I've ever laughed. We ran that back yeah. probably 50 times. It used it's to be probably, on my Instagram before. I think I it might be on my it, phone but, somewhere. Yeah, but yes. No. That was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. That kid took a fastball oh, right God. to the dick, and both of us oh. just fell off the couch laughing. Oh, he turned right into yes, it. Yes, I think he turned right. Oh, Was he the one? There were two that year. Was he the one who squared to bunt, or was he just swing? I think he I was think just, he just swinging. Tur- I think he was just turning. Yeah, and he just, squared to swing. But it was and so just in on him. Right to the dick. Oh, and it was a fastball. Like, it wasn't a cur. Oh, it was Ooh, a thing of beauty as well. God, it was. I missed it at the League World Series. All right. You know what? I'm going to call the episode there. I know you have another article, but... Uh, we can do the car, the Tucker one to close. Oh, okay. Yes. This is uh, this is Tucker's uh, premiere for what... So he does his Tucker originals now. This is... This okay. is the trailer for his new one, and it might be the gayest thing I've ever seen. You got... Okay. Here we go. All right. uh, already very homoerotic. Okay, even more homoerotic. Right? This motherfucker is sunning his nuts. This is, uh... What the fuck is that? Once society collapses, then, you're in hard times. Well, Look why, at this shit. Why it's why just his face iron, iron, as they say. It's and just homoerotic yoked dudes. Men who are tough, men who are resourceful, men who... Just drinking eggs raw. And then they go on to reestablish order. This is uh, fucking getting their tan on. This is real fucking gay. Right? Hold on, hold on. Hit him with the flex. Oh, fuck yeah, bro. Yeah, no, that's real gay, but I I mean that in like the legitimate sense. Like that was 
homosexual gay. Yeah, I watched like that. I think those guys are homosexuals. It would, yeah. Maybe you all are homosexuals. There's that'd one for be, my, my th- Simpsons fans. That'd be very funny if this ended up with Tucker being like coming out. You know what? I I just wanted to ask the question: yeah. Is this hot? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. You know, I'm just asking questions. He brings back the Eminem debate, but yeah. it's just about whether or not it's okay to beat off to his new show. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I saw the that. left doesn't want you to jerk off to men. Look, That's look, what they want. Look, people on the left, they don't want you sending your balls. Yeah, kay? yeah. They want your balls white yeah. and pale and unsunned. They don't want you to have Although, bronzed nuts. <laughs> wasn't that dude using like a, like a tanning booth? To, He's going to get cancer. Yeah, right. Like all I thought so, watching that was like, this is how Randy got cancer to get his weed in South Park. Yeah. Like why is <laughs> You're he? You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's basically sticking his nuts in a microwave. Look, I'm all for sunning your balls, but use do the fucking. Do what fuck you gotta a, do. Well, use the sun. Yes, use what God gave. Like us, if there's not, any if there's any legitimacy to Don't that use claim. a hydroponic grow light to try and yeah. sun your testicles. Yeah, don't put your dick in a fucking five thousand watt bulb and set it to red. And that's what we wanted to get across this Easter. Yes, that's the real message of Jesus' that's, resurrection. That's, he died so you wouldn't put your dick in a tanning booth. Hootie who. Mob out. <laughs>